Well, the Highlands Ranch High School football coach abruptly resigns, and tonight, parents, they want to know the real story behind this. Yeah, it's because a police report shows that Mark Robinson moved a player's car before a drug search at that school, but that's not what he told parents. Liz Gillardi joins us live tonight from Shea Stadium in Highlands Ranch, where Robin's former team played tonight. Liz. Well, the game tonight just wrapped up, but parents showed up here tonight thinking the coach left to pursue a better opportunity. A police report shows he actually resigned right after moving a student's car before a drug search. Friday night lights without the head coach for Highlands Ranch. Mark Robinson resigned a day before his team kicked off their season. And then he was just gone. This police report shows officers informed Robinson, who is also an assistant principal, about a canine operation to find drugs in the school parking lot. The report shows school security saw him leave in a student's car. Police found that car in front of Robinson's house and dogs hit on that vehicle. It's very disturbing to find out as a parent of a child who goes to this high school. I'm wondering as like the choices that he made, what was he thinking when he did that? What we found in the police report is not what the school told parents. We heard that he had got a better opportunity at a different school or a college and that he had left. In a letter sent out to families, Robinson said he was slipping in his duties as the head coach and he was unable to give 100%. This article from the Colorado High School Activities Association, or CHASA, says there was a career opportunity Robinson just couldn't pass up. But this isn't the first time the now former coach has been in the news. Denver 7 broke the story showing he was suspended in 2015, accused of using a headset to talk with the quarterback, a rules violation. Now this. Certainly more concerning, um, obviously. You know, not quite sure <laughs> how that affects the students, what's going on, if there's a bigger problem. And according to that police report, deputies confronted the football player whose car that belonged to. And basically, he said at first that the car was parked at his home, except he couldn't remember what street he lived on. Later, he admitted to giving the coach the keys and said that he probably ran out to get some clothes and that he did not want police to search his car. Parents here tonight telling us that they definitely have more questions and would like to hear from the school district. Reporting live was July. Lardy, Denver 7. Very interesting. Thank you so much, Liz. And if you have a news story you would like for us to look into, we would love to do that for you. Just let us know. You can call our tip line. That number's on your screen here. It's 303-832-TIPS. You can also send us an email to newstips at kmgh.com or just send us a message on Facebook and Twitter.